Hello anatomy students! In this video I'm going to explain the major veins that drain the tissues and organs of the thorax and the direction of blood flow through them. The internal jugular veins begin at the base of the cranium and receive blood from numerous veins and sinuses of the face and neck. The anastomose with the subclavian veins to form the brachiocephalic veins. The internal jugulars drain the brain, meninges, bones of the cranium, and muscles and tissues of the face and neck. The subclavian veins are continuations of the axillary veins at the armpit and unite with the internal jugular veins to form the brachiocephalic veins. The subclavians drain the skin, muscles, and bones of the arms, shoulders, neck, and superior thoracic wall. The brachiocephalic veins form through the union of the subclavian and internal jugulars. The brachiocephalics drain into the superior vena cava, which delivers blood into the right atrium of the heart. The brachiocephalics drain blood from the head, neck, upper limbs, mammary glands, and superior thorax. Although these veins drain some regions of the thorax, most of the organs and tissues of the thorax are drained by a vein network called the azygos system. This is located on either side of the vertebral column. The veins in this system also serve as a bypass network, rerouting blood from the lower body into the superior vena cava if the inferior vena cava or hepatic portal vein become obstructed. The azygos vein is the major vein of the azygos system. It's an unpaired vein located anterior to the vertebral column, slightly to the right of the midline, beginning near the diaphragm. Its name, azygos, means unpaired or without a twin. There is only one azygos vein, so we don't refer to it as being either right or left. It curves over the root of the right lung at the level of the fourth thoracic vertebra to empty into the superior vena cava. The azygos receives blood from many tributaries, including the right subcostal vein, which runs just below the twelfth rib. The right ascending lumbar vein, which runs up the lumbar vertebrae. The accessory hemiozygous vein and the hemiozygous vein. It drains blood from the right side of the thoracic wall, thoracic viscera, and posterior abdominal wall. The hemiozygous vein is another vein in the azygous system. Like the azygous, it is unpaired and located anterior to the vertebral column, but it is slightly to the left of the midline. It joins the azygous near the ninth thoracic vertebra and receives blood from several tributaries, including the left subcostal vein and left ascending lumbar vein. It drains the left side of the lower thoracic wall thoracic viscera, and left posterior abdominal wall. The final major vein of the azygos system is the accessory hemiazygous vein. It's also unpaired and located anterior to the vertebral column and to the left of the midline, like the hemiazygos. It originates at the fourth or fifth intercostal space between the ribs and then descends along the thoracic vertebra to empty into the azygous vein in the area of the eighth thoracic vertebra. It drains blood from the left side of the upper thoracic wall and thoracic vertebra.